Okay, so let me let's let's go into real quick. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because I don't know how many people care. But Florida Gulf Coast <laughs> is coming to town. What Ooh. what can we expect for this game? Give us a real quick preview. What are we going to see? What do we know about this team? Yeah. Well, Florida Gulf Coast. Many of you are probably familiar with their Dunk City yeah. uh, slogan from they, the past. Yeah, they yeah. they made the NCAA uh, tournament three times in the last five years, I believe. Mm -hmm. In 2013, they. As a 15 seed, they beat a two seed and yeah. advanced all the way to the Sweet 16, which is the first time that ever happened. Uh, they still have their head coach, Joe Dooley, mm -hmm. who was a former KU assistant for 10 years. And so he's done a great job of building that program up. And they're one of the top mid-major programs right now. And mm -hmm. uh, they're currently ranked around 140, 150 on Ken Palm okay. with an offense that's, uh, I believe, 86 nationally, mm -hmm. so I, I'm a little worried about that, <laughs> <laughs> just seeing the Shockers give up 90. 50 yeah. in the first half to Arkansas State, oh, man. and their offense was ranked in the 230s, 240s, yeah. and so I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned, but I, I, think, I think the Shockers will handle them. <laughs> Who knows if they'll be winning at halftime, <laughs> but at the end of the day, the better team's going to win. You see how gun-shy we are, yeah, suddenly, it's, <laughs> it's just to see. I, you know, Normally, you, I'd say, oh, 20-point blowout, 25-point yeah, no win. No worries at all about this game. Not the case anymore. Yeah, now, now we have to think concerned. what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, um, do you see any one guy for the Shockers as being a key or as being a potential guy who could step up and take control of this game? We've seen multiple Shockers do that, even some guys off the bench. Yeah. I think, I think it's going to be the guards again, Shamit mm -hmm. and Samaja Haynes-Jones, who had a tremendous game against Arkansas Excellent. State. Yeah. And so I think if, if this ends up being a high-scoring, high-tempo game, Haynes-Jones is going to thrive like he's done in previous games, and Shaman is going to do his thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll see. <laughs> Florida Gulf Coast, uh, Saturday, I believe, is that right? Saturday, yeah. Saturday? Um, no, Friday. No, fr Friday, Excuse you're right. Friday, the 22nd. On CBS Sports Network, if you can't CBS Sports and, and at Coke Arena, back yep. at Coke Arena.